Hey guys, Rob from Cigar Federation here with you at IPCPR 2016. We are in the Tatuaje booth with Pete Johnson. Pete, thanks for taking the time. You're welcome, man. Appreciate it. Good seeing you. Uh, the freshly awarded Tatuaje booth. Ah, uh, yeah. Best in-show mid-size booth. Awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. First time. First time. That's what we heard. Took four years to do it. Well, so, 13 years to really do it, but we, our booth was nothing special ever. But when we did the Garcia and Tatuaje booth uh, four years ago, we thought we were going to get it, and we didn't. <laughs> no, it's great. I like the setup. It's simple. It's, it's like we were talking about. It's much more fitting to you guys. Oh, uh, yeah, totally. I mean, just the feel of it's our style. Yeah. Um, I might have, uh, you know, grabbed a little bit of European influence because in Dortmund there's a lot of booths that are very similar to this that I, I liked, and uh, so that probably stuck in my head yeah. when I was designing this. But we like it. Nice. And you got the Brady Bunch wall over here that we were just yeah, talking about? yeah. Uh, all the all the Tatuaje employees. I'm in the Alice position. I like it. You know, I'm the housewife or yeah. the housemaid. Yeah, you, you I know. actually I think yeah. I might be because I'm always the one cleaning up after. Everybody. You make sure everything runs, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, Alice. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about some of the cigars. What's some of the new stuff that people are talking about? Uh, I think one of the biggest things that people are talking about is the the Reserve of Broadleaf collection that uh, we're standing in front of. It's, uh, it's something I was going to do next year, and of course, timelines got sped up, but uh, I'm really excited about it. It's just a lot of work for the factory. It looks like it. it's a beautiful setup, and it's 10 of each, yep. so it's 100 cigars total. Wow. Yeah, and that, yeah, you got to buy it in the 100-count box, and I, I'm, I'm thinking a lot of retailers will end up opening up each bundle and selling individuals. Uh, at least you can get 10 facings in such a small space. But uh, I think there might be a few people that want to buy the whole thing. So I can imagine. What does the whole thing run? 1200 retail. Really? Without, obviously, OTP taxes yeah. and stuff like that. That sounds about right for 100. You're getting 100 cigars. Yeah, it's and- exactly the retail of the cigars. I didn't, I didn't bump them because they have broadleaf on them. They're the same, you know, same price. These are made in Nicaragua as opposed to all these sizes that are normally made in Miami. Okay. Yeah. Now, are these going to be available individually or this is the only way it's coming? Well, the Noe and the Regio were always individual. Yes. Eventually, they'll come out in 10 packs. And then the Verite 13 is finally, finally coming out. It's not had nothing to really do with uh, anything because the cigars have been done for a year and a half. I just liked aging them. I was like, every time I go down, I'm like, they're like when do you want to pack these? I go, oh, good. So the last time I was down there, I told them, I said, start packing them because I want them to, I want them to sit in their boxes for a while you know, in their own environment. It's kind of like aging in a vat and then aging in the bottle. Um, so those will be out uh, sometime towards November, but they're slowly trickling up now. Awesome. And then uh, the Skinny Monster collection, which is kind of fun. All right, so we were talking Skinny Monsters. Yeah, we, uh, we, we had this idea to go ahead. Actually, actually Dan's idea. We were, we were brainstorming on some stuff in Los Angeles, and they knew I was going to be changing my packaging on Black Label. So Dan's like, why don't you take the, the skinny monsters and put them in the old black label Petit Lancero boxes and make the boxes look like the old coffins. I go, okay, that's cool. But then I started making the old coffin looks. And I'm like, man, that's not working. There's too many similar colors and too much of a burden for the factory. Yeah. So I just copied the color of the bands. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it's a visual for sure. And these are buy, bought by the set from the retailers also. There's not... It's not for uh, individual purchase yet. Okay. Um, you have to buy, there's only 400 sets being made, so you have to buy a full set. And then we expanded the Skinny Monsters with Cazadori Edition and Lancero Edition, um, only because they're two sizes I really love, and I wanted to have them out there. So that's, a, that's my favorite size, too. So six and three eighths by 43, it's yeah. something that's really comfortable for me and lots of flavor. So it's, I always wanted to taste all of them in that size. So there are no shortage of monsters at this point. No. That's what you're telling me. No, well, the only thing we might be short on is uh, the regular monsters. But the new Kruger is coming out, and uh, I have plans for the monster series in general moving forward. Even with the FDA thing, I, I, I have a, a good uh, chance that uh, I, can, I can move forward with, you know, the the substantial equivalents, yeah. and we'll see. 
Well, that's good to hear because I know, I mean, that's a series that everybody loves, right? Yeah, it, it, there's, I might have to go back to the original and start doing sequels of everything. So that's about it. Wow. Yeah. So potentially re-releasing those? Yeah. Yeah. So going back to Frank and starting all over yeah. again. We'll see. Hey, it's good. It's 10 years later, you know. Yeah. That's perfect timing, right? And, I mean, those were, a lot of guys didn't get a chance to smoke those cigars in those particular sizes, too. Yeah. So A lot of people didn't even know what the Monster Series was when I first started. And uh, most guys were actually able to buy, like, eight, ten boxes because no one cared. The guys that were in the know. Yeah. Yeah. They just said, wow, Pete's, they were big into the brand early mm -hmm. on. They're like, Pete's got this new thing coming out. I'm just going to buy a bunch of boxes. They're kind of cool. Yeah. And then, of course, now they're like, <laughs> I <Yes>. won. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, and going back to those original ones and, and getting a chance to smoke all of them in, in the different uh, – the different sizes, different tolls is, is a lot of fun. The, the Frank is still, I think, my favorite. And that's, Every, yeah. The, the skinny Frank is, especially that skinny size, is, is uh, it's shine, that, that, that one that shines. Blend also, the Jason shined a lot in that. But I, I, I'm scared of the Jason, uh, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> every time no I pun intended. Every time I smoke it, I, I get a little, like, a little light. Really? So, yeah. Um, do you have the, the packaging for the Kruger? Is it here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's on the bar. It. Someone's I'll, standing I'll, there. I'll get a photo of it. Um, you know, I kind of mimic the whole sweater thing with the, and the burnt skin on the sides of the box. And I'm really looking it, forward it's, to it's, that blend. But the, the the cigar is cool. Uh, I love the size. I love the I love the blend. I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm happy with all of them, but you know, every once in a while, one just really kind of stands out um, a little bit more for me. Yeah. And they're all my favorite. But then, all but, of course, but, the but then this one's, one's my favorite. favorite. Yeah. But uh, this one's rocking. Yeah. So it's smoking good. Yeah. yeah. We, we talked about it when we had you on the show, and you said it was smoking good then. And that was four months ago. Every time I do them, though, I have to start production in like late December, early January, just to make the timeline. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. I I could potentially miss production. So it's it's funny. I was the I was looking at uh, I do some I do some home brewing. Talked about this before, yeah. and uh, I all the ads that I see now are for pumpkin ales. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't want a pumpkin ale right now, but I mean, for it to be ready. Right now? Yeah. It's now is the time to do it, so it would be ready by the time. Well, it's kind of like, you know, it's Christmas time and, like, Easter eggs are out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I guess it's the same thing. I never really thought about it that way. I never really thought about it like that. Awesome. Well, Pete, really appreciate it, man. No, thank you, bro. I appreciate you always, and uh, yeah. thanks for coming by and covering this. So, yeah. Always appreciate hanging out with you. The booth looks great. Congratulations on the award. I'll make sure I come back on the show. Yeah, for another two hours. Two hours. It's the longest episode we've ever had, which was awesome. Everybody loved it. I, I get into a talking mode, and the next yeah. thing you know, it's just over. Yeah. So <laughs> that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. When we had uh, when we had the uh, Atelier guys on too. They 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 hung around for a while. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, Dan, you can't get him yeah. to shut up. So. <laughs> <laughs> Once you, really, you have to you ask Dan one question, and that's and it's it. Like this long. And really, all you could say is like, "Hey, how you doing?" And then he's going. Yeah. 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 That was a lot of fun. Anyway, Pete, appreciate it. They were drinking some beer and you know, oh, having a good time. They were having a good yeah. time. All right, well, guys. They were all oh. via satellite, too. Hey, oh, they? yeah. Everybody was in, and they all had to make fun of each other. And yeah. they were like a lot like the Brady Bunch kids. You, you got a good point there <laughs> with everything that was going on. Yeah, we have a lot of fun. I mean, we bust each other's uh, chops all the time. Uh, the best in show thing, the dog jokes started coming up, you know. Yeah. I had bad hips. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's, we're silly. Yeah. You, you have to be. You spend this much time together. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, good point. All right, guys, thanks for checking out all of our Cigar Federation coverage of IPCPR 2016.